Major League Baseball is in its final month of the regular season, but Valley officials are looking back to where it all began, spring training, and it's a big win for the Cactus League. Cronkite News reporter Paul Schultz has more on the newly released economic impact report. The Cactus League plays host to 15 teams across 10 ballparks every spring. It's one of the Valley's biggest economic attractions. A project led by the Seidman Research Institute at Arizona State University looked at the economic impact of spring training last season and how much money the month-long event brought to the Valley. While Cactus League games may not count, their economic impact certainly does. Today, we are excited to announce that the 2023 Cactus League season generated roughly $418 million in economic activity. For the first time in more than three years, a normal season of spring training welcomed over 1.5 million fans without any restrictions due to the COVID-19 pandemic. I've been in the business of supporting community and baseball for 30 years, but I can say that after the last three seasons impacted by a pandemic and work stoppage, the Cactus League in 2023 provided its resilience as a major tourism industry and engine for Arizona. While the numbers show 418 million in new revenue for the economy, they also show significant growth in this year of revival. The last pre-COVID report in 2018 showed roughly $644 million in total economic activity. In this year's report, we saw that number jump to 710 million. But where exactly do we get all these numbers? What we're trying to look at is what new dollars come into the Valley as a result of Cactus Lake. That's why we focus on out-of-state visitors, and that's why we focus really upon the organizational expenditures of, of the ballparks themselves during that, that four to five week winter. But the fans coming to the Valley each February aren't just going to the ballpark. They also visit other Arizona landmarks like Tombstone and the Grand Canyon. The Cactus League is Arizona's longest running national sporting event, and it's a home run for the state's economy. Generations of baseball fans from across the world have fallen in love with Arizona, and those fans spend time and money visiting other areas of Arizona. So no matter what happens to their favorite teams this fall, fans are sure to make their way back to the desert in the spring. In Tempe, Paul Schultz, Cronkite News.